soon. Very, very soon. In the meantime, hi everybody, this is James at Mostly Gaming. Today I'm doing my first live stream in a little while because uh, as part of some sudden money wars I didn't have an extra HDMI cable to connect my um, recording device to the TV so I couldn't record anything for a bit. However, that has now been fixed. I am now recording as you can see and streaming it live. And I also need to test this equipment out to make sure it works properly because like I said I'm doing a in time for the midnight live stream of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And because I have nothing better to do tonight. I'm also working on a video that's going up sometime next week. I think Monday or possibly Tuesday, depending on how soon I can get it finished. I'm just working on some graphics for it. Oh, there was recently an announcement as well about a new Splatfest that's coming just after Christmas in the new year. Um, they're going to change up the plaza so it's all Christmassy and decorative. And um, You're not annoying at all. I love how close these two are as friends. I hope there's someone out there who sees me that closely. Or maybe not that closely, actually. That might be kind of gross. Okay. Agent 8, let's get going. I can't remember what they said the stages were. So I'm just going to hop in. And we shall see. What the hell? Sorry, someone's just posting on to. Anyway, uh, yeah, a good weapon, a good weapon. We have Turf War, Snapper Canal, and Pot Mackerel. Two decent stages. Two very decent stages. <coughs> Excuse me. It's been a little while since I played this properly. I might, uh, I'm expecting to at least lose a couple of matches. You know, one of my favourite things in the entire world is when there's a hunter, right, and he gets the animal within, oh, within sight. And uh, the animal spots him, and instead of running off, it just fucking flies at him. I love that. Like, don't fucking mess with nature. Hate seeing hunters so much. Here we go, that's about like it. Although one of the uh, opponents is apparently a complete mystery. I'm assuming that's just the name. I don't think there's actually a mystery, mysterious character there. Although if I find out that this is going to be a hacker, I'm going to be really angry. Two rows, a sniper and me. Okay, it looks like the question mark block is on the same team as me, so hopefully he's going to pull his weight. Right, just in case someone gets any funny ideas. Uh-oh. Nope, I thought that might replenish my ink. That would have been a cool secondary feature to have. Oh, crap. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Uh-oh. What was that? Not gonna lie, fan of this particular bit of music. Damn it! <laughs> Good game! Like I said, I'm a little out of practice. 
Oh man guys, come on, look at this. Do I have to make your messes for you, really? Oh crap! Well, that sucks. <laughs> I haven't even had chance to bust me. Well, I've had plenty of chances to bust my special out. I just haven't done yet because I'm an idiot. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait for it. Oh crap! Idiot. What was that anyway? Why do people do that seemingly at random? Oh, final minute. Missed. I mean, at least I got to use the hammer, eh? <laughs> hammer time! What the hell is that? What got him? Okay, no idea if we won that one. I fully expect we've lost. And kind of tough to judge. Ah, oh, that was only just one of it. A 6.3 win, I believe. Or loss, I suppose. I should be saying. Man, Amazon has not given up. Last chance to grab a Cyber Monday deal. Guys, it's Friday! A Domino's Pizza. Merry Payday. How would you know if it's my payday or not? Creepy fuckers. Fucking Domino's. More like Domino's, eh? No, that was lame. Alright, come on. Let's have pot mackerel this time. Let's have a pot mackerel sandwich. Or even let's just play the game. Also, I might switch to Kirby in a minute because... Um, you know, we've got the new update, and I'm really interested to see what it's like. I uh, just watched the latest episode of Zombieland Saga as well. That's, all, that's actually it's, it's it's turned out really good. I'm really having a good time watching that. Not gonna lie. Meh, meh, meh. Come on! Chris, get out of my game! <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Mm, come on. Clumber. I bet one of those two quit. The guy at the top, Carhan. Or the guy at the bottom, or near the bottom, Clumber. I bet one of them quits. It always seems to be the really high ranked players or the really low ranked players that quit after a few splats. It's like, okay, even if you're losing, you should try at least stick it out to the end. You still get experience, but you don't get anything if you lose. If anything, it will only ever work out badly for you. I'll probably switch the weapons as well after this. I was going to say, am I the only one moving here, guys? Come on. I'm also really looking forward to playing as um, the Inkling in Smash Bros. I'm pretty sure I already know how to unlock them as well. I haven't looked up any cheats or guides or anything, but I'm... It seems like... I suspect that the way to do it is actually really obvious. <laughs> nice try! Ha 
don't know why, I was just finding it really satisfying to just jump in and out of the ink. Like, it's a proper glump sound when it happens. It's really fun. It's weird, isn't it? Because I remember the reviews for this coming out, and everyone was like, wow, Nintendo's actually just made it fun just to run around. Cut ya! Ha ha ha! I was thinking about that for ages! Well, I say ages. It's all relative, just like a family. Do I get distracted by the bubbles? Okay, it would help if I could actually swim up the wall, thank you. <laughs> I narrowly avoided a splat there! Got ya! And the third one, and the third one! <laughs> We're cutting that! That was too awesome not... I actually have no idea why I did that. that. These splash walls are the worst! Honestly, the the one power the sub the only sub weapon I can never quite get the hang of. Like I know what they're there for, but like, areas like this don't need splash walls. I mean, I suppose that's you know the price you pay for picking this set. I suppose. Hang on. Oh crap! There's no wall here. I mean, there is a wall here, but oh, the guy with the. Uh, I think someone just quit on us. Seriously, I think someone just quit. And I mean from our team. A ruler from looks of it. I mean... Dude, did you seriously just try and go past me? I saw you. <laughs> you see where I stamped on the right hand side there? Nice. But seriously, did that one guy quit? There you go, 1000 straight points, so he did quit. Didn't I say that the guy at level 10 would quit on the level 9 guy? Did I not say that? I am a prophet. I should probably be really careful who I say that to. <laughs> oh man. If that offends someone then I'm sorry, but get a life. Should I really be saying that out loud? Maybe not. Okie dokie, let's go. Right, I want to see if I can get my amiibo rewards. Because I recently picked up the Oxalung amiibo. With all three of them. I like how it looks like some kind of weird Octo Genie almost. I am not speaking inkling good. Nah. Let me just see. Maybe with the mail. I left the girl one at work. Because I took it at work for... Because I like having the amiibo on my desk at work, so... Hello, my friend. How do the tentacles hang? I think he's been... I think that was a how's it hanging. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that was but two. I think I'm going to switch over to Kirby. Because like I said, there's supposed to be a... Uh, a new update for it. There we go. Okay, let's see. I'll pause that in a sec, I want to the download to finish first. So, how's everyone doing? <laughs> How is everybody doing? Man, I can't wait for Smash. I know I keep saying it like it's going out of fashion, but I'm really looking forward to Smash. What other games have I got on here, anyway? Got YouTube, I've got the Jackbox Party. Fire Emblem, which I've not played in a little while. Xenoblade I haven't touched, actually. 
Ironically, since getting Cosmos and completing the Rare Blade collection, I, I also have Torn of the Golden Country, which I haven't actually played yet. I played the first few minutes of it, but I couldn't... I wasn't getting into it as readily as I was... Present. Maybe I'm just... Maybe it's because it's Xenoblade, and I've been playing it for so much recently that uh, I'm just not getting into it the same way I thought I would. Flipping Death is fun, but I'm just, I'm done playing it. I don't need it. Got a little SJW for my taste at some points. Right. I might just go quickly into settings and see how we're doing for uh, data. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Space of all 14.9 gig. Right, I'm going to need... Get rid of some stuff. Let's see. Yes, I know not played. You don't have to keep rubbing that in. Warframe, I tried that, but I haven't... Mm. I mean, I've been trying. I had a quick go at it just to see if I get into it. It's basically um, it plays a lot like uh, what's that game? Destiny Two. At least it feels like it does. I could be wrong. Splatoon Two, yeah, I play that all the time. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Uh, that's what another one where I only really play it with like my sister. That's kind of it. Have you noticed, by the way, that the two games that are basically parts of other games are taking up like 6.8 gig each, and then Mario Odyssey is 5 gig. It's like, that's crazy. And then again, there's a lot of recycled content in Mario Odyssey, so, or whatever. But yeah, I played that in the last week. Uh, Xenoblade. Wow, it's been a month, has it? Kirby Star Allies. I thought the update came earlier than, it's, than it did, so I was playing that other day. Uh, Grim Fandango, I've beaten that now. Quite happy with that. Arms, um... Thing is, I don't play Arms as much as I used to. Um, I still love the game. I think it's one of the best fighting games I've ever played, aside Smash. And it's like, it's one of them things where I'll probably, I'll just keep occasionally hopping back over to it. I'm not going to play it all the time, like I used to, but I'll keep, I'll keep coming back to it occasionally. And then we have Shantae, half, half genie hero. Uh, Shantae is still one of my favourite characters of all time, and I still want to see her in Smash Bros. Please make that happen. Pac-Man Championship Edition. Um, this is one of those games where I kind of just play it when I need a bit of mindless, you know, try not to think about my day at work type stuff. Uh, and it works. It's pretty good. The Nefarious I've beaten, so I don't technically need that anymore. I've beaten the game a couple of times over. It's a good game. Really fun. I might do a walkthrough at some point for it. What else we got? Um, Fire Emblem Warriors. I'm going to trade that in at some point in the coming months. But I don't know what for yet. Because I was like Smash. There's not really anything in the near future. I think Luigi's Mansion is coming out next year. But I haven't really heard anything about that since. Uh, Mini Metro, yeah, I keep playing that every now and again. It's one of those. This is one of those Zen games where you're not playing to win. You're just playing to play a game and just waste a couple of hours. I have wasted hours on this stupid game. <sighs> I want to say this is good, but the problem is I like Texas Hold'em and I like poker. And not, so, I've never really played Blackjack or Page One, but. I don't know. This Texas Hold'em is fine as a concept. It's just it only lets you play up to like five hands, and I would rather just play a game of poker if I was going to do that. Uh, Toy Con's not really mine, so I can't delete that. I mean, technically I can pl delete that, but it wouldn't be very fair to my sister. Nintendo Entertainment System. I also do not care for this. Uh, I'm just going to delete it. Okay, Warframe. Uh, I'll leave this on for now. I might have a quick, I might pick it up back up. Bleh. I might pick it back up again. It's not as fun as I thought it was going to be, but it's fine. I might play the main story. Um, Jackbox, Jackbox Party. Um, Jackbox Party. That's one of them games where I play it every now and again, and it's fun to host games online with people. But I don't really touch it otherwise. 
Primal Warriors, I want to at least beat the main storyline. I'm not going to bother with DLC though, because it's, it's one of them games, and once you've played one Warriors game, you've kind of played them all. Okay, so that's just applying the update. I mean, that's kind of true of any game, but especially with that particular series, I feel like once you have played one, that's kind of it. You're not really going to see much better. At least Mario varies it up a little bit. And Splatoon 2, yeah, it's kind of the same game as Splatoon 1. But how do you... Like, I would argue that the formula is near perfect. If I, The only thing I would change about Splatoon 2 is the fact, like I say multiple times, that there's no combat mechanic. And if you're being overwhelmed and it's going to be a 10 to 90 win, and you're just getting spotted left, right, and one of your teammates has quit, it's like there is no coming back for that, and that's not as fun. It's just not as fun to win, I mean, to lose in that game. If it was a if, although I will say, like a bit earlier on, I have had several matches where when I have lost, it's been like 46 to 42 percent or 52 to 48 or something like that. You know, really close. That I don't mind so much. If it's a close match, I don't mind losing quite as much. And I've, yeah, I've, I've completed this. Do I really need it? I'll just delete it. I mean, actually, Grim Fandango was fun. Um, really weird, though. Really, really weird. <laughs> fun. Okay, we now have an updated Kirby game. Let's go in and see what it awaits us. I don't think anyone gives a shiny shite if I'm playing Smash Bros. on midnight, to be honest with you, but I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to live stream it. Because Nintendo removed their um, affiliates program now, so I don't have to go to them to monetize my. Excuse me, to monetize my videos. Which means I might be looking at making just a tiny bit of moolah off this channel in the not too distant future. Hello there, Susie, you're looking lovely. Another free update is here for Kirby Star Allies. Adventure with new friends and take on a challenging new mode. Magalore from Kirby's Return to Dreamland is here. Is he your ally or is he all lies? Boo! Bad pun. Taranza make a dazzling descent from the world of Kirby Trickle Triple Deluxe. Say hello to Susie, reporting to work from Kirby Planet Robobots. Science is her weapon. And I will say... There are now 12 dream friends. Wow, you can use them all as allies. Ooh. I'll look at that in a minute. Uh. <laughs> right, okay. Um, anyway, let's go into the guest style allies. I'm going to play the first couple of levels for each character. Let's do Magalor first. Best friends forever. Planet Robobot is my favourite Kirby game, at least at present. Okay, so we move back and forth like a so. Oh cool. Okay. Okay. No close range attacks, I notice.
Okay, so because he floats, he technically doesn't need to jump over small gaps. Okay. So we've got Broom Hatter added to the team. Right. I'm not convinced of this huge amount of point. In, uh, in a projectile that doesn't do anything straight away. Especially in a game like Kirby where you've got allies who are just going to attack for you. Oh, what's this? I, mean, I know what it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, boom, dude, you're going to have to keep up. I kind of like the idea now that Magala has the ability to mind control enemies. Fun fact, I never played Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Mainly because I suspect it works very similar to this game. Okay, interesting use for that ability. Hop in, you morons. So anyone can... Cool. <laughs> okay. I can see why people like this guy. So hang on, what moves have I not used? Magic Sphere, Revolution Elf, Revolution Flame, Deadly Needle, Double, Double, Dash Books, Please, Magalor Surge, Gem Apple Bombs, Detonate. Oh, Black Hole! While in the air, up plus press and hold B. Okay. Oh. I'm trying to get someone with that, but I haven't... Go on, move! Hmm, I thought you can move it around. Oh! <laughs> right, okay.
Oh, I see. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. I got ya. I got ya. So what am I supposed to do? Where can I learn to control this power? Not... Fr not from a Jedi. Nor a Kirby. Friend of Bills. Oh! Go on, jump in. Idiots. Boom. Why is attack power up a good thing? No, none of these enemies have any particularly large health bars. Oh, we'll get to see what the train looks like. Okay. And I don't know what I was expecting to be perfectly honest with you. But I think after this section will be the checkpoint anyway, so I'll move on to the next character. This is the same train section as in the original game. Like in the main adventure. I feel like it's a little cheap. Like, I know reusing assets makes the most sense, right? I just think it's a little cheap when they reuse the exact same level layout. Like, the rest of this level, as, as far as I'm aware, everything else that we've seen up until this point has been at least quasi-unique. Like, obviously, nothing in this game is inherently unique from anything else in this game. Or indeed, any other freaking Kirby game, for that matter. I just think it's a little cheap when developers completely reuse the exact same levels over and over. Come on guys, jump in, jump in! Whoa! He took it out of his health bar almost completely! Look at those apples swirl! What killed him? Okay. So we can start there from next time if we really want to. Kirby games are not that challenging. Most most of the time when there is a challenge, it's wait what? What's that? You'll need to befriend this character before proceeding. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyway, what was I going to say? So, yeah. I always find that boss fights in this game rank from easy to kind of difficult to really cheap. Taranza, to meet that flower. So, I'm a little curious as to what, how this guy works. Because, presumably, he's just the spider ability. Okay, so that is basically just the sp how the spider ability works. Uh, press B move. Oh! Interesting. <laughs> okay, I can slam him into the ground. I mean, you sort of, anyway. Darling Dreamstalk. Whoa! Can I do anything with it? Down and hold B, then release. Oh, okay. Is there a third stage of that? 
Okay, up B then release mid air to Ranza Ball. Why is it? Oh, it bounces around the screen. Okay. Alright, uh, notice this level's got a little more verticality to it than normal levels. Which I suppose is meant to represent the Dream Stark. I don't really fucking believe that, to be honest with you. Uh, dash plus B in midair, web sling. That's just a little creepy, though, isn't it? That's almost broken. He's basically a combination of the... <laughs> He's basically a combination of the... Um... Oh, what's it called? He's basically a combination of the PSI ability and the spider ability. So we can do stuff to the pods as well, which I imagine. Yeah, I figured as much. Anyway, down and then up B. Ooh! Do that in the middle of the screen, maybe. That looks like a nasty attack. Presumably that's going to do a number on bosses. I didn't think so. You'd think though, wouldn't you, that that a character's ability to just flow endlessly would be a problem in this game, but it really isn't. You'd think that would be a tough thing for level designers to figure out, but it's like, nah, we'll just make it easy. Right. Okay, I've had enough of this guy. Out of all the characters in this game, that's probably the one I was least in. I've played Triple Deluxe and I really enjoyed it, but that was probably the one character I've never had felt a connection with. Maybe just because he's a spider. <laughs> you know, because I'm just so racist. Right, let's go with the one I'm actually excited for. Now, that is a callback. Planet Robobot is the most different Kirby game you'll ever find. Okay, so what's her B move? Oh, cool. <laughs> Alright. It's not quite the same as having um, the Robobot armor, but it'll do. Uh, dash and hold B. Oh, wow. That's got some kick to it. Oh, what the? Oh. Hello there. Why don't you come with me? You're my new employee. Wait, what just happened there? Oh, it's the hat. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's that dash move. Uh, transport a burst. Charge briefly then release B. Hmm? Huh? 
Oh, hang on. Oh. Alright, no one stands a chance against this person. Uh, Ultra Transport Burst. Uh, what are you telling me to do? Do I just... Is there an extra level that I'm supposed to hold on to? Doesn't seem like there is. Nope. Oh. That, was, that might have been it, actually. Um, Terror Burst, yeah, I've just done that. Oh, good grief. Um, diving Heart. Charge a long time next to an enemy, then up or B plus side plus B. Ah, oh, hello. Didn't expect that callback. Oh, for God's sake. Ah. Oh. Uh, right. Charge stock. A L R. Ah, after charging for a long time. Oh right. Okay. Didn't know you could do that. She. So she's a dash type character, really. Excuse me. Um. In mid there is the transport, we've just seen that. B while performing transporter, one handed. Ch Excuse me. Okay. And then. Business suit up, jump, double jump, cycle, spin cycle, spin cycle, dash. Oh, okay, so we do have. Ooh! Let's just try that. Wait, I was going to say. Okay, so it seems like there's some areas that she just can't use. <laughs> there's certain areas where she just simply can't use this. Which makes sense. Which makes perfect sense. In the Kirby game. Oh, I must be going this way, am I? Oh my god! Oh. I was gonna say, what's preventing me from just flying over everything? Oh. So yeah, what was preventing me from just flying over it? <laughs> Nothing, apparently. How to make an easy game even easier? You just give the player the ability to fly for fucking ever. <laughs> yep, just like in Planet Robobot? Nope. Bust to Susie. Right. Whatever you say about whatever you say, buddy. Cool. Okay, so now because she has an element, when she summons the business suit, 
No, you stupid thing. Why did you go back through the... Uh, why is the door still there? I don't need to go back. They only remove the door when it would be a hindrance. See? Wait, so where's the key? Oh, wait a minute. Did I just l lose the key under there? Okay, so apparently I do need to go around and back in. Oh, man. There it is. Right, I'm done. Because let's just face it for a second. The real reason we're playing this right now, apart from out of raw boredom, is that new mode. Do do do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. The repeated chance of highness have opened a rift in the fabric of space that leads to another dimension. An action-packed challenging mode for Kirby and all his dream friends set in another dimension. Duck inside a hero door to change Kirby's ability or tag in a dream friend and keep going. Your rank is set when you defeat your final foe. Uh, collect friend hearts to change the outcome of the battle. Okay. Shine it away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. Alright, leave me alone. Right, this ain't unsettling at all. Ooh. What does that do? Huh, oh, right, okay. Well, yeah, okay. I mean... Is this gonna make the game easy again? Okay. Right, I got three guys with bombs. I don't think this is going to be an issue. Oh. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Hey guys, if you get too close, you're dead. Hmm. How do you do it again? There you go. I mean, I suppose I didn't really have to sacrifice that one guy, did I? Well, this is kind of unsettling, isn't it? Let's be real for a second. Why are we just getting bomb guys? Oh wait, I just realized I can't drop my ability. Because this this level is designed around the fighter ability. 
Oh, for crying out loud. There we go. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some tricky moments, but I wouldn't call this hard. Hmm? Bandana Day. Right, okay. So each section is going to be based around a particular friend, is it? Well, if they're going to be like that, then this is not going to be difficult. I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? No hats I've seen so far in this one, but then maybe that's just... Interesting. Oh, right, okay. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm glad I did that. I see what you gotta do. Oh, I can't go back in. Oh, that was a one shot thing, was it? Oh. Do I think this guy's worthy of a Smash Bros. post position? I mean, it's not my decision, is it? But still. King DDD. I feel much safer now that there's a heavyweight in charge. I'm guessing that you have to do all this in one run as well, then.
That's what you call only just. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, man, I. Okay. Didn't get to play uh, much DDD. Is Kirby being transformed or is it coincidence? to be going here. Oh, damn it, I'm not gonna make it! No! <laughs> damn! Diamond Blast! I was gonna make it then! Actually, do it down here and then. Yeah, thankfully, the hats I've already collected I don't have to worry about. It's always nice. I never quite get over the earrings of these platforms. Oh, the house must have vanished because I failed the mission. Ah, oh, that sucks. That actually does suck a little bit. I'm in mild pain now. Jeff Kawasaki, hello. Is 
This is someone fancy attacking him, maybe? Why not? Bridge, eh? <coughs> Damn. Oh, that's it. Oh, I didn't realize there wasn't a flaw down there. Uh, I was too busy looking at the goodies I couldn't get. Actually, I don't think I've seen the friend bridge since... I like how Chef Kazak is like on top of the two little guys. Go. Cool. Yay. Who are in some dream friend? Yeah, you seem like the best option for this particular... Uh, at least we've got a fire cutter, we can use the fire in other stages. Uh, I mean, Kirby does not generally require that much strategy, but you never know. There's been some surprisingly tricky moments in this game, in this mod. Wait, how did you do the sword thing? I can't do the sword thing. I still don't think I can. Hmm. <coughs> uh, gotta get the gold guy off. There you go. I've got so many lives now. I've got like eight lives. Go on.
Okay, who's the next friend gonna be then? Am I the only thinking, oh god, this is gonna be a boss fight, isn't it? He's just giving me dream allies. Nah, let's not bother. To me, I'd rather just keep the chef around and have him heal us, like, once in a while. <sighs> that being said, the, the artist also has the ability to heal, so I don't know. Again, you see what I mean? Wow, this guy's actually kind of tough. than I expected. Typically you can just bum rush him and there's no problem. Okay, clearly I need something with a little more firepower than these guys. Right, now we've got a sizzle sword, uh, and two, uh... Oh, I can use the beetle instead! Yay! That's even better! I prefer the beetle power, it's my favorite, it's one of my favorite Kirby abilities. Try this again. Because it also means I'm going to have to get in close, which is not... Which I've rapidly learned is not the best move. Not again! At least if he's eating someone, right, he can't... See if this works. <laughs> Paul Adeline!
actually could not see where I was for a second then. Although we got to the second phase of the fight, so that's obviously good. I can't believe I'm losing to wispy woods of all things, even if it is parallel. Wait, what was I doing? This guy's got natural fire breath. Can we supposed to ride this guy as well? <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Someone worked really hard on this boss fight. Just continue breathing fire at him. Ah, oh, man. Move! Come on guys, keep going, keep going! There we go, that's more like it. Bum rushing him still works, you just gotta watch out for certain attacks. Huh? What is that? Done! So what was that? How lovely. Okay. So wow, that's just an epic version of an epic version of the regular boss fights, isn't it? No idea I'm gonna do on this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a character I actually know how to play with. Uh, yeah! <laughs> All right, let's slaughter me. I don't remember how I got Soul Melter unlocked, but we're gonna give it a go because I'm pretty sure this this mod will kill me if I get past the first boss.
Oh no! Wow! <laughs> Iggy Woods isn't messing around! <laughs> Not even in the top three! Ouch! <laughs> okay, I'm still pretty confident in my cock choices. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll switch. You know, I kind of figured Rick Cannon Koo would give me a nasty advantage against Iggy Woods to start off with. Plug is there mostly for when I have to fight Cracker. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that! No! No! Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucking, fucking, fucking. There we go. I mean, I used up half my recovery items, but still. There we go. Can I just generate more? What? Nothing. Next, next is a mini boss rush. Ah, I still gotta get over the fact that I used up three for freaking recovery items. Oh, that was unintentional. Whoa, well, okay. Ah, no. I mean, it makes sense, wouldn't it, that they uh, would take out recovery items. Swall DDD next. <laughs> I did not know you could do that. I mean, I kind of did know, but not in that sense. Excuse me. Wow, I am disgusting. Oh yeah, it does work, just not in the recovery room. Okay. Oh, someone got him. <laughs> Yay!
I like Bugsy as a character. Two Kirby's. No, no, no. I was gonna say. Those aren't bosses. I mean, they're kind of tough enemies. Worth knowing is that the the playable ally versions of these characters.